we were blindsided. It was like they were just gone. Four Kiskey Township officers quitting last week after allegations were made against the township supervisors. Pittsburgh's Action News investigates reporting last week elected officials were accused of using surveillance cameras to spy on police investigations. Solicitor Tim Miller advising the board not to comment. I want to stress that right now those are allegations, okay? I want to make that very clear at this point, those are allegations. Tonight, the board officially accepted the resignation of the four officers and police secretary Darlene Veselicki. I stand behind the officers. And all but one supervisor voted to approve the hires of two part-time officers, bringing the count to four, including the school resource officer and the newly hired chief, Lee Bartolicious. As soon as I can get them on and get the background checks done, um, I'm going to work them on a 12-hour shift schedule, so each of them will work three days a week, uh, 12 hours a day. Um, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. He plans on working six days a week. State police out of Katanning will supplement the rest and act as backup when needed. I am working hand in hand with the state police. The sergeant and I uh, at the Katanning barracks talk daily, at least once, if not more than that a day. The force still needs two more officers for a fully staffed department. Now we have to rely on state cops from Katanning to get here. How long is that going to take? I'm not okay with it. We need some type of police force back here. To cover not only Kiskey Township, but North Apollo Borough, too. We have a contract with them, and I want to make sure that it is fulfilled so that our town is covered with police coverage. We were told 24-7, and that's what we're anticipating on going forward, too. And the chief says he is hoping to have those two full-time officers selected and ready for the board's approval by the next meeting. I did reach out to all four of the Kiskey Township officers who resigned. Of those I heard back from, they declined to comment. Reporting live tonight in Kiskey Township, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.